skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We got a Vocal Revolt 86 for you today. Really interesting blend of lightweight, energy, all mountain and park performance. Uh, as it's in that Revolt family, it definitely has that twin tip style and shape that's really awesome for freestyle skiers and those who really enjoy performing tricks, whether in the park or just uh, kind of in the natural features of the mountain. Uh, this is a really surprising ski. I think when we first got on this a few years ago, uh, both myself and another larger skier within our company, uh, you know, six foot five guy, he, he and I both kind of said, wow, this is a surprising amount of energy and stability for what's seemingly a, a lighter weight, more playful ski. Uh, this Revolt 86 returns unchanged from last year except for graphics. So we have this uh, yellow one, King and Crown, as well as the uh, purple Scorpion one over here. So either way you choose to go, same construction. Uh, and that build is generally more in line with the rest of the skis using that multi-layer wood core uh, consisting of poplar and beech. Nice mix of lightweight and energy, really goes along well uh, with the theme of the ski. Uh, from that build perspective though, they do use more of a split between full sidewall and full cap. Uh, so that full sidewall extends in that underfoot area, right about to where my fingers are here, where it transitions to full cap. What that does is it gives the underfoot zone of the ski, that mid body, a lot of grip and a lot of uh, torsional stiffness. And then that kind of gets a little bit leaner towards the tips and tails allowing for better maneuverability, a little bit quicker in the swing weight, as well as making it just a little bit more cohesive of a ski and add some durability for people that spend most of the time in the park. Uh, at 86 underfoot, definitely has more of that park specific shape to it, whether you're kind of emerging as a competitor or just uh, enjoy spending your time in the train park and half pipe. Uh, I think this is a really fantastic choice. Not too heavy, you know, we do want to keep that swing weight nice and light. So uh, this 172 here uh, weighs in at 1749 grams. Uh, pretty nice mix. You know, I think most of that weight does fall in that underfoot zone. Um, we do still get a nice turn, turn shape here. So 86 millimeters underfoot. Um, and it's a little bit longer than most, uh, mostly because you want to keep that you know, less hooky and less catchy, uh, you know, skis with really shorter turn radius tend to be a little bit more hooky, especially on takeoffs and landings. Definitely want the smoothness of a ski like this uh, when you are, you know, landing big tricks and stuff like that. Not a whole lot to talk about in terms of taper and rocker. Uh, you know, we do see that nice positive camber underfoot does give you a good build when you're carving into jumps. Uh, and then that twin tip splay uh, with the accompanying rocker is, you know, pretty standard for what we're looking at these days. Nothing really sticks out here. Pretty, pretty traditional stuff in terms of uh, taper and rocker. You know, when we get to the more competitive Revolt 90, we start to see some more differences, but this still falls more into that all mountain slash park category. So make sure you check out this uh, pretty surprising Vocal Revolt 86 here at SkiEssentials.com, and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.